Hey guys, Tommy Bryson here, and a lot of people finally, finally got their stimulus checks of $1,200, and a lot of people actually got a lot more than $1,200, because again, they also do have kids. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys 10 different ways you can use that money to spend it the correct way to either make sure that you're okay, or make sure that that money actually makes you money. Now, luckily for me, guys, to be honest here, luckily for me, guys, I made the best investment ever in my life by having around 23 kids okay now because i have 23 kids and i also have tax returns dependents and on top of that i also got my stimulus check which is a lot more than 1200 by the way i went to the bank today and i cashed it out because again i don't know what's going to happen with the entire banking system right now so i was like you know what let me take my money out and just bring it home and here it is right here okay guys i got all of my money literally from the irs see here you go, here you go for each and every single one of my kids, which is awesome, you know? And by the way, every single one of these is around $10,000. So the best investment I ever had in my life was having 23 different kids. Now, before you call the IRS and the FBI and say, Tommy, well, you know, I found this guy on YouTube and he took advantage of everything, so go over there and check him out because, again, he just took all the money. Well, before you do that, okay, just just, just relax, okay? I, I'll, I'll split it with you and I'll send you some money over, okay? Because, again, I think I have more than enough for all of my kids, plus some of you guys on YouTube. So I will be donating $10 by the end of this video. Now, but all seriousness, guys, okay? All seriousness, okay? The very first thing that you probably wanna want to do with your money is probably go ahead and pay off all your bills. But before you do that, I will be making more videos on YouTube about different ways to use your money and stuff like that to make more money. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified. But I think that the worst idea you could do right now is try to go ahead and pay your bills or try to get an advance on your bills right now because most importantly right now is going to be the essential things that you need to live. So before you go and you grab your money and you go out there and you try to spend it, for example, on, hey, let me pay um, my landlord. Let me go ahead and pay all my bank fees. Let me go ahead and pay all my bills. The answer is don't do that, okay? Here's why. Because most of your bills right now are going to be on pause. Why? Because everything is going on in the world and everyone knows for a fact that the most important things for people to do with this check is to go out there and get the essential things. For example, toilet paper, getting people food. And yes, I said toilet paper, but let's be honest, you do need that stuff. But you need food, you need toilet paper, you need stuff that are essential for you to actually take care of yourself and also your family. So the very first thing should be grab that money and use the bulk of it to buy your essential needs. And, and this way, if this entire problem does go beyond one month or two months until August, this way you're still okay. You can take care of yourself and also your family, okay? Which is the most important thing if you ask me, instead of trying to pay the bills, but then not have enough money to actually buy food. And now you live in a house where you're starving, but at least your rent is paid off on time, right? No, that's not what you want at all. Now, number two, guys, is that you want to go ahead and use some of that money also to pay off your high interest debts that you probably were never going to pay off. But now, since you have a lot of money all at once, you can use that money to pay off that credit card debt or that loan you took out on that one thing that you definitely did not need because again, who the heck needs a 70 inch TV, okay? No one needs that. But let's be honest here, guys, okay? High interest debt is very expensive to have. So the best thing to do right now, if your landlord is going to give you a break on your rent, your bills are gonna be paused right now, instead of using, after buying your essentials actually paying your bills and stuff like that if they're going to give you a break and you can catch up later on without any interest and fees why not use that money to actually pay off that high interest debt that you have right now and this way when everything is over imagine waking up and saying hey I do owe a little money on my rent, but that's basically free because again, I don't have to pay it off like in full with no interest. But guess what? I'm waking up right now and I have $0 to pay in credit card debts, $0 in personal loan debts, and $0 in any debt that just like very toxic and doesn't really make me any money whatsoever. So if you have extra money right now to put towards your high interest debts, then use that money to pay that off. And if you still have your job, well, use that money right now, the most of it, to pay off all that debt. So once everything is over, you're fully free and not just worrying about 
what's going to happen next because I still have all this credit card debt to actually cover. Landlords and a lot of bills are going to be flexible because again, everyone knows what happened, but credit card bills are still charging interest, which you don't want that to happen at all to you. Now, number three is guys, what you want to do is go ahead and build up an emergency fund. Now, I only recommend doing this once your debt is fully paid off. And with my budget, usually what I do is I do this simultaneously, but for the sake of this video and for the sake of only having $1,200, again, what you want to do is basically build up your emergency account once you're done paying off your debt. Now, tell me, how do I do this exactly? And why do I do this? The answer is this, guys, okay? My overall rule has always been on this channel to save up a minimum of three to six months of all of your expenses. And this way, if anything does happen in the world, for example, what just happened just now, well, at least you can cover all of your expenses for six months, even if you go ahead and lose your job. So say for example, guys, you live in New York City and you're paying $1,200 in rent. And on top of that, you also have a $300 car note. And on top of that, you also have $500 for food and all your utilities. Well, in reality, your expenses are around $2,000. So if you take $2,000 and you save up six months, worth which is six months times two thousand dollars which is twelve thousand dollars well if anything does happen in the future you have enough money to cover all of your expenses for six months and this way you're good to go however twelve hundred dollars is obviously not twelve thousand dollars so the entire idea is just use some of the money to save it up towards your emergencies for at least like one month or three months and this way at least you're covered and you know exactly what's going to take place and once the entire storm clears you can start putting a lot more money towards your emergency account and this way that is fully funded a hundred percent and you're always prepared for anything that might happen out there which to me is the best feeling ever because when this happened right here I had six months worth of my expenses saved up so even if I lost my job and everything I knew for a fact that I was going to be okay, which is very important, okay? And by the way, it took me around one year of savings to save up all of my expenses for six months. So it's not gonna be overnight, it's going to take some time, but the point is the faster you do it, the sooner you can know for a fact that you are going to be okay no matter what happens if you get fired or anything out there, okay? Now, number four, guys, is going out there and investing, for example, into the stock market, into your IRA account, into your 401k account. Now, tell me, why would I do this? The answer is, well, if you still have your job and you can cover your bills, then why not grab this money right here and just put it towards your investments in the market, okay? Now, so, for example, if you're not really a savvy investor, the best way to invest your money could probably be to just go out there and invest into an index fund that's very well diversified. So for example, say you invested $1,200 into the S&P 500, which tracks the top 500 companies in the stock market. And this way you get a return on average of around 7% every single year. Now, the main thing is this, you grab that $1,200 and you invested it into this fund right here. Plus every single month, you're going to be depositing an extra $100 into your account for the next, let's say 30 years. Well, in 30 years, you're going to have around a hundred and thirty thousand dollars and if you follow this full plan right here and you're done with your debts and your emergency fund is fully funded when in reality you can put a lot more money than just a hundred dollars per month towards your entire investment fund so the idea is the more money you invest over time it will become a lot of money but yes you don't need a thousand dollars or you don't need $50,000 to start investors today, but the point is, whatever you have today, and you keep investing it over the long run, that could potentially become millions of dollars in the future. So I would recommend right now, if you can, and if you bought your essentials and you still have money left over, well, grab some of that money and invest it once everything else I mentioned is also covered. And this way, in the future, when you're ready to retire, you can retire in peace knowing for sure that your retirement is fully, fully funded way earlier than everyone else, okay? Which is an awesome feeling if you ask me. Now, number five is guys, using that money that you actually get to go ahead and reinvest it in yourself by getting a new certificate or for example, buying some books or courses. Now I know for a fact, a lot of people out there are tired of hearing, I just go out there and buy some books, books are knowledge, knowledge gives you money, blah, blah, blah. But now, for this entire issue going on right now is probably the biggest wake up call ever because now for the first time, a lot of people are in the same boat of unemployment. I don't have a job anymore. 
I don't have any more skills. So what am I supposed to do? I cannot make money and I cannot take care of anyone. So the answer is guys, if you're going to be going to get money, and you're going to be making money right now when this check comes in, well, grab this money and invest it back into yourself. And for example, guys, okay, say you use this money right here to get certified, become a certified nurse, or whatever you want to do. Well, that skill that you get right then and there, that skill can make you a ton more money. And to be honest, guys, if I was working a job that I did not like, and now I got laid off well right now might probably be the best excuse ever to get a new skill and then do something I enjoy doing more and that could also make me a lot more money and a lot of things out there guys don't always mean hey go back to college for like four years or ten years the answer is no you can get certified in something for like one year or two years and then boom you have a full-on career that can make it between seventy thousand dollars to eight thousand dollars just like that and that way you're good to go so find a skill out there that you're good at can also make you money and that's the best thing ever to be honest because this way you're fully armed for the future and not just waiting for your job to call you back saying like hey so your job is back do you want it nah i'm good i just got a new skill and i don't really need that job any longer because again that job is kind of something i didn't really enjoy doing but bye phil i'll call you later on monday psych i won't be calling now that kind of got personal because again i did that <laughs> a long time ago and i feel pretty good about it but it will feel pretty good when you do it for the first time when you actually doing something that you actually enjoy doing a lot now guys number six is something that i know for sure a lot of people are going to say on the internet no i'm not gonna do this you know but they really are gonna do it okay and it's fine and that is you're going to go out there and you might even go out there and buy a new ipad a new tv or for example a vacation package because you think that well in two months this is going to be over and i'm going to go on vacation for a full month and guess what i'm going to go on a full discount because everything right now is on discount so i'm aware that some people are gonna use this money right here to go out there and have some fun. Now, you probably think that I'm gonna say, no, don't do that, terrible idea, grab the money, invest it, pay off debts, but in reality, I get it, you know? So, if you get $1,200, the whole point is this, if you get $1,200, grab five to 10% of that money and literally just use it to have some fun because in reality, you deserve a massive reward for doing social distancing and staying in your home all day 24 seven. So if you can grab 10% of your money, which is what, what, like $120 and grab that money and do something for yourself you actually enjoy doing, well, that's awesome. Just use the rest of the money for everything else that is responsible that's actually going to help you, okay? But 10% and 5%, not a big deal. Go have some fun. Highly recommended, by the way. This way, you continue you doing everything because this way you know you just got rewarded for everything you've been doing that's actually good for the entire whole of the community in here everywhere in the world okay which is awesome now number seven guys is actually donating it now before you say tommy how the heck am i supposed to donate my check when in reality i myself need much more than twelve hundred dollars and at this point i wish i had 23 kids because this way i would have gotten a lot more money well the answer is this guys you know whenever i say donate i think people misrepresent what i'm saying and here's the thing okay when i say donate i don't mean go out there and donate your whole twelve hundred dollar check what I mean is, say for example, if you donated 1% of your check, which is very possible, very feasible, is only around $12, you grab that $12 and say for example, every single person did it, let's say for example, a million people did it. Well, right then and there, that's $12 million you can go towards helping more people that probably need a lot more help that might not have even qualified to actually get their check or might actually help some small businesses. So the answer is that 1% towards an act of kindness by over 7 17 million people that will be getting checks in the mail the answer is well that can go a long long way to helping a lot more people that need a lot more help so again one percent makes a massive difference so don't listen to the hype of people saying like hey you should donate your whole check jessica because basically you don't need it the answer is no if you want to donate one percent go ahead it makes a big difference either way don't feel bad about not being able to donate ten percent or five percent or fifty percent or all of it because again people that make fun of other people by not donating enough money usually they themselves are not donating any money whatsoever so your one percent goes a lot longer Longer and a lot way further and someone is just complaining about hey you should have donated more money how much did you donate none 
Okay then, let's, let's just leave it right there. Okay, now guys, number eight, we're gonna take a turn from donating and also having fun to actually grabbing some of that money and using it to start a business. Now, I know for a fact, a lot of people out there, they wanna start doing YouTube or a business out there, but they might have some upfront costs, for example, buying a camera or a good microphone that you might actually need to actually make your whole channel, whatever you wanna do, or buying that fancy laptop you actually want. You don't need a fancy laptop or a fancy camera, by the way, I'm just saying. But the answer is, you know, you can use this money now to finally be the whole funding towards you actually going out there and creating a business and actually making yourself some money. Tommy, $1,200 is not gonna be enough money for me to actually build anything of substance? The answer is guys, you know, UPS, the company, the shipping company, well that company just started literally with one guy on one bike with literally one package. And that's all it took to actually start a billion dollar company. So in reality, don't actually put yourself down because all you have right now is not a lot of money. In reality, $1, can be $2 the next day and it can keep multiplying over and over and over again. It's all about, by, by the way, before you start a business and you risk all your money doing it, I always recommend you go out there and you learn about the business first before you go out there and put your money where your mouth is, okay? That's the whole thing here. So don't buy anything just yet. Learn about the business and make sure you want to take the risk and then go ahead and take the risk. And even when you take the risk, don't grab your full check to do it. Just grab some of the money. Like maybe like um 10% or 25% and then get started and see how it goes for you and test the waters. Don't go like full, like full, like, like just don't take the full risk, okay? It's not necessary. It's just movie hype. Just like take it step by step and step by step you'll get there, okay? Now, number nine is for the people that basically, well, now they have this extra money, but they don't really know what to do with it. So instead of actually spending it, like the video says, I would recommend you basically just do nothing with it. Tommy, what, what do you mean do nothing with the money? Okay, that's dumb. The answer is, well, it's better to do nothing with the money than just to go out there and waste all of it. So what I would do is this, if I don't know what to do, whatsoever and none of these ideas actually helped you in any way in this video which i doubt but if none of them actually helped you or called out to you and you don't want to try any of them out that's fine you know just take some time don't do anything with the money and put it on the side and basically ask yourself well what do i want to use this money for and try to do something with it but don't do something if you don't know what to do because then that can end up just you basically wasting all of the money and that's why whenever i have extra money and i don't don't want to spend it and I just don't know what to do with it usually I would put it in a high yield savings accounts for example with Wallfront, SoFi or any like ally bank whatever you want to use and just put it in a high yield savings accounts and this way the money is in another account I don't have to think about it until it's time for me to actually use the money for what I want to use it for but I just don't go out there and spend all of it and now guys lastly number 10 and I wish I had more time here to keep talking to you guys but you know I can only talk for 18 minutes here on YouTube okay but guys, um, lastly is actually insurance. You know, I know for a fact a lot of people out there, they wish they had insurance right now, especially life insurance, not knowing what's going to happen with them if they have complications. And it's sad to say that I heard a lot of stories of people actually, you know, not making it and not having any life insurance and it kind of sucks, you know. So it might be a good opportunity now to take some of your money and just put it towards some life insurance and this way you are covered. And that is literally all of my advice and 10 different ways you can grab your money and go out there and spend it. And lastly guys, for everyone out there trying to find my address to come rob me, look man, this this is all like um film money, okay? It's not real money like at all. So there you go, it's not like real money. But I just use this like for props in the videos and this way it gets people pumped and stuff like that. But again, don't come to my house, don't call the IRS and don't, don't call the FBI, okay? It's not necessary, but I will be trying to go to Costco and buy some toilet paper with this, okay? If you want to watch that video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified. By the way, I am not going to do that, okay? I'm not going to do that. And as always, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video right here, well, like this video. I really appreciate it. And on top of that, also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified because I post videos every single day on YouTube. And on top of that, also follow me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And before I go, if you want to watch a full video on how I budget my money step by step because I do do that, well, watch this video right here. Here on top of my face right here to all subscribe to the channel right now and i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching and as always peace